Avi Kastan, CEO of the cybersecurity firm Sixgo in Israel. Thank you very much for being with us on CNN. So often lately when we've been talking about governments causing problems, let's say online, we've been talking about Russia, but that's really social engineering what they were doing. They weren't hacking when it comes to these questions of Brexit or the U.S. election. But here with North Korea, what the U.S. government is alleging is something very different. We're talking about hacking, going after money, and going after industries, aren't we? Uh, well, yeah, it's, um, it's a little more complex uh, than that. The question is uh, who is uh, behind these, uh, these attacks and everything tends to sound like it comes from North Korea. You know, um, one of the, one of the uh, things that uh, we see is the common TTPs, technique, taxes, and procedures that are being used at very uh, likely, what, what is called the hazard group, uh, Lazarus group, that uh, the same who did the uh, Sony hack, etc. And one of the, the ways they, they do in order to perpetrate what you described is they infect some computers and machines. Now, when they go out for these other machines, they use several IPs. Now, all these IPs can be behind VPNs as proxy, which it means we cannot be sure. But the interesting thing is one of those IPs was assigned to North Korea, was an IP that belongs to the North Korea domain. So this is a very interesting issue that, uh, that, that more uh, reinforces our suspect to when it's coming from. Obviously, tensions are very high right now between the United States and North Korea. So some people might doubt whether it's really North Korea behind these cyber attacks, because it's, of course, the United States pointing their finger in this case. Though I can think of others where private cybersecurity firms, even the UK government, have pointed the finger at North Korea for the WannaCry cyber attack. Are people in the cybersecurity community, like yourself, positive 100% that it's North Korea behind these attacks? Well, we can never be sure 100%, but everything looks like um, we are we are interested in the facts rather than the the motivations uh, the motivations for doing that. We are also inter interested in the motivations, but we are going after the facts, and all the facts looks like uh, yes, um, at least it points to there. I maybe there are other other uh, other parties involved, but it points to there. When I look back through these hacks, WannaCry, which was asking uh, money via Bitcoin uh, from everyday people like you and me, uh, when you go back to the fact uh, that uh, many people believe North Korea was behind a $101 million heist of money uh, from the Bangladesh Central Bank, it looks like money is the target here. Is that safe to say that in these attacks, the common thing is they're trying to get money? Well, money can be the target, and money can be also a way to achieve other targets. There is, uh, there is no secret. The, the current situation, in uh, economically speaking, in North Korea, and they need the money desperately. Uh, however, there are other countries as well that they need money. So uh, there is no doubt that they are after money because they need money. However, the question is, do they, are they, the money is the, the final goal, or they are using the money to perform other tasks? Now, if you ask me, the money is only the means in order to perform other goals. Should the average person sitting at home be afraid because these latest viruses that the U.S. government says North Korea is behind looks like they're targeting big industries like the aviation industry. So should that uh, make some of us uh, individuals think, OK, we're safe? Uh, no, we are not. <laughs> and yes, this is, uh, this is a reason to take a uh, to take these threats very seriously and to become uh, a lot of, uh, to have more knowledge about the protection in cyber. The amount of damage that can be made to a regular normal per a person is, is incredible, okay? From the identity theft to other type of, uh, of threats and, uh, and attacks. Uh, we, we, have a, we, we need to be very, very careful what, you, what we do, yeah. A sobering warning. Avi Kastan, CEO of Sixkill, the Israeli cybersecurity firm, thank you very much for joining us on CNN. Thanks to you. My pleasure.